like the thing that our people need to do the job. But when you go to a convention, like the classes that you want to go to aren't the ones about how to go do the thing. It's time for bookkeeping, beer, and BS. I, I want to I want to wrap up talking about thinking big versus thinking small. I mean, like conventions are are like thinking big, right? Instead of thinking small, thinking about like making big investments, making making big relationships, and thinking long term instead of short term about like just the you know what your competitors are charging and all that bullshit. Uh, I I had time while I was out running today to think about what the hell I was gonna say, and I know when I invite you guys to show, I'm like, hey guys, here's what we're talking about today. Jump on in. Um, do, do you guys have any like examples that stick out to you where you're just like, oh man, here this time this guy was just thinking so small, or here was the time that I was thinking big and that we did big things. Anything like strike you as a holy shit? This was a uh, like the epitome of thinking big versus thinking small. Yeah, I do. I got tons of stories. Advertising is always the big one, man. Every time I take on a, a client, it's like I can't get appointments. A coaching how client. On, how much a you spend client? on advertising? You're talking about a coaching client? Yeah, any, any yeah. client, any, any service business, a lot of service company businesses. I'm like, they're like, I can't get any more. I, we, we've maxed out on, I can't seem to find more clients, more more customers. I can't get new opportunities. How much are you spending on advertising? $100 a month? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, okay, uh, why don't you spend 10000 a month and grow your business? <laughs> and they're like, 10,000 a month. I'm like, yeah, I spend 10,000 a week. <laughs> I'm just trying to get you, well, why don't we spend a thousand dollars a month and see if that works. And they keep going and finding better ROI. I mean, just start thinking big. It's like, how, how, if you don't change, you're going to stay the same. How are you ever going to build? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. you're talking about thinking big, Dan. I had, uh, an aha big thinking moment about a month ago and I haven't implemented it into collaborate yet but we will do it and I mean you know as well as I do so in collaborate we have pressure washing groups window cleaning groups roof cleaning um, roofing we have solar plumbing uh, landscape lighting um, landscaping so we have a lot of industries that we have segmented into groups so within Collaborate, we're going to start a Collaborate uh, coaching program. Um, nice. So every two weeks, we'll get an expert uh, in the pressure washing industry to come on, and we'll we'll do a little bit of collaboration with all of our pressure washers. You got, a, every, chimney, you got a chimney sweep group in there yet? You got a chimney sweep group? Yeah, that'd be great, right? If you ever want a guest to talk to anybody about business, I'm open, man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So this is this is the beauty. So we're going to do this collaboration, and and as the years progress. Um, you know, we're going to have all these collaborate groups and we're going to bring people in and they're all going to be our clients. And, you know, Chad, if you're one of our clients and you're going to coach, we're going to, you know, give you something cool back. But my big thinking is in a few years, we'll have a collaborate um, convention, just like Responsive did, just like the huge. And, and then we'll get all these companies together who are collaborating. And we'll bring in awesome people to, you know, just give business advice and, and how to better their business. and. And uh, anyway, that's that's my big thinking. And someday we'll get there. We're not there yet, but someday. It, it does I surprise it. me that there's not a convention for just home services, right? Every convention is like very equipment focused, which like I see a bunch of companies financials. I'll tell you guys, without a doubt, equipment doesn't make you money. Like yeah. going to conventions and buying pressure washers or buying trailers or buying uh, lawnmowers or whatever it is. It's just stupid. Now I'm not so, saying those yeah. vendors are. I'm not saying anything bad, bad against those vendors because we need those vendors. Those guys sell us like the thing that our people need to do the job. But when you go to a convention, like the classes that you want to go to aren't the ones about how to go do the thing. How to do the thing is not how you scale a business. How to do the thing is is like the the table stakes. We all start there, but if you're trying to scale a business. You need collaborate pros. You need a coach like Chad. You probably need a bookkeeper like me. You need somebody to help you with recruiting like Sean, who's not on. Um, yeah. Scaling a business has nothing to do with the equipment. There, as a finance dude, I could I can help people like buy equipment the right way. But even that like isn't going to sink your ship. But man, if your marketing sucks and your recruiting sucks and your leadership sucks, your equipment doesn't matter at all. <laughs> yeah, you're, matter at all. Gonna, you're not even using it. No. Yeah. No. no.